The aerofoil can be defined as a shape capable of producing lift with relatively high efficiency. As air flows over an aerofoil at a sufficient speed, it will have certain effects on the static pressure surrounding the aerofoil, as propounded by the principle of continuity and Bernoulli's theorem in the last lesson. Even before the airflow reaches the aerofoil, the pressure drop over the upper surface will cause the flow to rise towards it. This is known as upwash. At a point on the lower side of the leading edge, the airflow will be brought to a halt at a point called the stagnation point, where the airflow separates to pass over or under the wing. As the air flows back over the aerofoil, it will tend to slow down in accordance with the basic principles, flowing against the adverse pressure gradient as the higher pressure air below the aerofoil tries to go from high to low pressure, that is, forward from the trailing edge to the low pressure area on top. The pressure distribution is shown here, with the highest pressure concentrated around the stagnation point and the low pressure extending up and forward to a peak above the aerofoil, with the pressure differential creating the lift force indicated. Also shown is the force, drag, which acts against the forward movement of a wing and is caused partly by the lift itself. Lift and drag are fully covered in subsequent lessons in the syllabus. Having introduced the basic characteristics of the airflow round an aerofoil, we shall now look at the terminology and definitions associated with aerofoils. The chord line is a straight line joining the centers of curvature of the leading and trailing edges of an aerofoil. The chord is the distance between the leading and trailing edges, measured along the chord line. The angle of incidence is the angle between the wing root chord line and the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. This is fixed for the wing but may be variable for the tailplane. The mean camber line, also known as the mean line or camber line, is a line joining the leading and trailing edges equidistant from the upper and lower surfaces. Maximum camber is the greatest distance of the mean camber line from the chord line and is expressed as a percentage of the chord. And its location along the chord line as a percentage of the chord measured from the leading edge. When the camber line is above the chord line, the aerofoil is said to have positive camber, and when it is below, negative camber. A symmetrical aerofoil has no camber, as chord and camber lines are coincident. Thickness chord ratio is the maximum thickness or depth of an aerofoil section expressed as a percentage of the chord from the leading edge. The thickness and thickness distribution of an aerofoil section have a significant effect on its airflow characteristics. Leading edge radius is the radius of the curvature of the leading edge, which can significantly affect the initial airflow characteristics of the aerofoil. Basically, the smaller the radius, the sharper the leading edge. Relative airflow or relative wind, or free stream flow, is the direction of the airflow produced by the movement of the aircraft through the air, and has three characteristics. First, its direction is opposite and parallel to the fly path, which is the direction taken by the center of gravity. The aircraft's attitude is not a factor. Secondly, its condition is that it is air close to, but unaffected by the presence of the aircraft. That is, its temperature, pressure and velocity are not changed by the aircraft's passage through it. Thirdly, the relative airflow's magnitude is the speed of the aircraft through the air, the true airspeed. If the airflow does not possess all of these three characteristics, it is referred to as effective airflow. Total reaction is the resultant of all the forces acting on the aerofoil section, namely lift and drag. The center of pressure, or CP, is the point on the chord line through which lift is considered to act. Lift is the aerodynamic force generated by the aerofoil, which acts at 90 degrees to the relative airflow. 
Drag is the aerodynamic force which acts parallel to and in the same direction as the relative airflow. That is, opposite to the flight path. Angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative airflow. It is often referred to as alpha, written as the Greek letter. An alternative, but less used term, is aerodynamic incidence. The angle of attack between the cord line and the effective airflow is referred to as the effective angle of attack.